Hi, I'm Andy Mann. I'm here live at Cloud Expo West, uh, live on Syscon TV. And I'm here today with Steve Salo, who's the Principal Systems Engineer for Infobox. Hi, Steve. Hi, Andy. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Hey, look, tell me a little bit quickly about what Infobox does. Sure, Infobox does DNS, DHCP, and IP address management for not only enterprise networks, but cloud networks as well. Oh, brilliant. So. Um, so what are some of the big challenges that your customers are facing around DNS and DHCP and IP management? So it's really looking for a single platform that can extend not only in their private enterprise environment, but private cloud, public cloud, and tracking all the IP space and everything that's going on in that environment. Very powerful, very powerful. Um, now, tell me, what, what sort of things that matter when you're talking about managing these systems, um, when you're talking about planning cloud adoption, we're here at Cloud Expo, of course, so this is really important stuff for our audience. When you're talking about planning out your cloud environment, what sort of things really matter in terms of DHCP management, DNS management, IP address management? So what really matters is the automation. It's the ability to say, hey, when I want to spin up a new VM or a new load balancer or something like that in one of these environments, I need an IP address for that. So where am I going to get that from? Who's going to understand that? Who's going to track that? How am I going to return that back to an available pool? Yeah, very, I, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so what sort of risks are there in not considering DDI in a private or a public or a hybrid cloud environment? Right, so the, the risks are really siloed environments and not be able to support the automation that you want. Because if you don't have that platform where you can quickly provision IP addresses, it may be, hey, I need to open up a ticket now with another team to go ahead and assign me a new network block or an IP address. And if you don't think about that ahead of time, you get to the point where you're looking to deploy and then you hit these bottlenecks. And cloud, you know, so many people tell me that cloud's all about agility, right. so if you're not getting that right, Right, yeah, if you don't have that agility in there, then there's no value in your cloud. Yeah, everyone hates to get into roadblocks, right? Um, so tell me what major clouds support the info blocks? So we run on private clouds, so things like VMware, uh, OpenStack environments, as well as public cloud like Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure. Ah, excellent. So you're actually supporting the whole idea of multi-cloud as well. Right, right, multi-cloud, hybrid cl cloud, having the ability to do the provisioning, whether it be in AWS or on-prem in VMware or even traditional layer three network, all that in one place as far as any of the automation and provisioning. Ah, excellent, really good to hear. Um, so tell me, when you're doing this for your customers, um, what sort of outcomes do they achieve? Uh, what, you know, the, uh, certainly solving their problems, but what does that mean to them from a business perspective? Right, so it's, it's money, it's value, it's you know, the, the agility that that brings, being able to provide new products, new solutions, new applications, you know, just like that. You know, instead of taking maybe days to spin things up and have everything available because there's that network bottleneck, being able to have it real time for the DevOps guys and for everybody, that's that's the real value. Yeah, I tell you, the, the, dev, the DevOps stuff, uh, yeah, that's very deep in my heart, so it's great to know that you're supporting those new pe new skills and new approaches. Um, you know, speaking of new skills and approaches, over the next sort of 12 to 18 months, where do you see this kind of capability going? Where do you see the big rocks in our industry? Right, so it's going into containerization. So again, when you're spinning up containers and different things like that in that environment, a lot of these still need IP addresses. So again, you look back at that same bottleneck. Where am I getting that IP space from? How am I tracking all of that? How am I returning that IP space? Again, we're the platform that can handle that with our API integration, some of the plugins we're doing with things like Docker and so forth. Very good, very good. So. Um We've just about run out of time, but I want to make sure, where can people go to find out more about Infoblox to maybe connect with you? Sure, yeah, so our website's a great resource, just www.infoblox.com. Brilliant. Well, thank you. I've been here with Steve Sello, uh, principal, uh, uh, principal Systems Engineer with Infoblox, live on Syscon TV. We'll see you next time.